Okay, I'm going to unbox some hemp here. Uh, I got it in the mail today. I ordered it earlier. It says returns on the package. I was almost hoping it was the return of uh, one that I had sent to somebody. Uh, maybe not though. Maybe they're just saying return on the package because I've had some people do use return to sender on my orders. You know, according to what I've been posting about uh, honor our authorities with hemp like our politicians and our police and even choose the stuff that might look and smell like marijuana or be named after it or something like that. All right, so let's see here. I'm wondering how much I can show without having rights violations. So far, I've only had issues with music here on Facebook Live, my Facebook work um, being owned. And I saw a thumb appear with a picture and uh, I show no um, count viewers or comments showing uh, let's see here we go I'm going to search on the box this is the first package I've had in this size box the rest have shown up in um, taller boxes I thought I had about figured this box out about how I wanted to do this hemp is at the bottom of the box It's glued. I wonder if it's glued on both sides. It's glued and taped. It's good that it's taped. It looks like it's been sliced. Maybe in a previous life. It doesn't look like a normal cutting movement. Maybe it has something to do with the tape. I'm doing this one-handed. Otherwise, I might be done already. <coughs> I'm thinking about just destroying the box. So I'm, I've given up on opening it in an easy to uh, close way a bit here. I'm just going to go ahead and go at the paper instead of where it's supposed to open. There we go. There's a the seal. And, uh, show yourself hemp. Show yourself hemp. Yeah, Alright, let's see. Alright, it's heavy. Oh, really, it's in this bag. Uh, I forgot. Bag and let's see. It's the only issue I've been having with these people, or this provider, is that they're writing the name on the flap that gets torn off. It's probably the safest place with my issues over hating ink and stuff. It's heavy. Let's see. Here, uh, they got their dealer license. It would appear. Who says this? Who is that supposed to be? Uh, I don't know. Not on the color at all. And this nice talk. I believe everywhere. You know, it sort of says, "Um, your two-day-old baby uh, can smoke this." And your um, premature baby by three months, you know, you can, you know, have some oil and maybe even some gummy bears with this in it. You know, according to, you know, let's see, these people or those people and this person around that time or something. As well as, as well as, let's see, what is that? Uh, all right. Uh -huh. and, nope. and then this says, and then that uh, person who weighs um, uh, two pounds. And so you'll notice this is over the legal limit, because this is some stupid babbling garbage about pretending stuff is illegal that is not. So let's check for the illegal stuff here. Let's see, uh, you, be zero. It's pretty high. I hate that stuff. I hate this Delta. I hate you, Delta Triangle. I want you out of here. At least there's no eight. Or maybe it's just not listed. You be at least 10%. That's a terrible atrocity. 
Let's see. Nice to see you, CBC. CBD is near there. So it makes me wonder about the A. You're way up there. People are probably lying about that being that. Like people are pretending this is this. And, and then that's showing what might be the big number. The plain old THC. We got this number, I don't believe. When we add all of these. <laughs> really trying to count the V in that. You who in the world? And then that's zero. I mean how how and why this zero? This zero, this zero, and this is still here. So this is ridiculous, according to um, you know, it's it's this is I mean seriously here, seriously here. I mean, you know, who has set this up this way? Like Satan? Does Satan just sort of say stuff like um? Let's see here, blah 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 blah. That's not exactly what they're saying. Blah 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 blah. Blip, 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 blip. That need that's that's triangle. Blip, 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 but I mean, I mean, if this, if, yeah, this is just such garbage, and then, and then this be in context, so it has to be this whole thing here. And that's, let's see, isn't that? But it's not that and that. No, this garbage, and then we look for this garbage for people who don't want that two-year-old to be healthy like I do, or that two-day-old. Uh, two pounder, and then we're looking for that. And it was like, rip, 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 and it might be uh, in the end of existence for everyone or something, I don't know. They figure that stuff out. Okay, I don't think I'm going to open it yet. Ugh. Looking for seed, 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 seed. You know, I wonder about growing it. I'm not having much luck. I'm certainly being prepared, you know, for like uh, World War III to break out and me to have this huge farm. Like I end up, you know, like waking up in this building. Maybe the only good person or uh, the few good people around here are gone. The whole place is just a big farm for me. All the buildings gone and stuff. That might be nice. How long until I can, you know, have all the supplies I need? If I don't have all the supplies I need, and I just I'll just give up I'm trying to make them of this. A little, you know, wall cheer us like I hear that plant and they're saying, saying something like, Yay, no humans or human buildings in my farm zone or something. Alright, uh, so I'll process. Let's get to some processing here. It's not exactly the uh, best time to start to um, pummel it and pommel it. You know, like just totally um, crush it down and destroy it, basically. I want to um, give it some curing time, some aging time, maybe some time to express more seeds. I don't know that it needs to. I'll probably open it. I'll probably open it before I give up and try to um, pommel it, and crush it, and stuff. Uh, 
I like that sound. Listen to that. What do you think that weighs? And now I keep wishing for my uh, uh, package packaging that is smokable. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and open this at least a little bit right now. It needs to breathe. And I get through it. Maybe I do that. Nope. Gotcha. Smells great. It smells like some of the other stuff I had. It smells a little hook, like the whole, kind of like green grates. It's a little bit of lemon. And up front, it smelled like some marijuana. Or um, something I thought might have been marijuana, like some medical marijuana or whatever. It's probably hemp all along. And I'm having a hard time placing it. it smells great. Fruity. Not like the other seeded abacus I had smelled. And I'm worried about it breathing the air in around here and picking up the smells in it and stuff or how, how it might change its smell. Although I'll allow it to. I won't try to fight it that much over it. Maybe I will a little bit more though. And I believe part of um, the rapid evolution of hemp, of these plants, with the many strain variations, is just from exposure to the environment here. They're like expressing all the aromatics these plants express, you know, my complaints, like now it smells like this and later it might smell like that, but by the time it smells like something you want it to express, it might do so if, um, well then it, it hasn't had seeds yet and it expresses the seeds, like you can take this with it showing and it breathing and then maybe it needs a little more stuff like some, some fruit in the bag with it, not actually juicing into it, but sort of in it, giving moisture content, that's how it's working, and then it goes into the windowsill, like you wish it would just pop up and be your house plant of all these hemp plants, and it might express those seeds, and if it had smelled like what you wanted to express, like peanuts, or potatoes, or green beans, which I've had near, which I've had some hemp smell like, it, it, you know, it, then you might get some seeds, it'll be the special hemp green bean plant, that'll actually give the fruit, or the, or the vegetable green beans, if it ever gets treated so well, instead of uh, the industry of competition trying to genocide it or make it extinct. I'm a little worried about putting it into these bags. I believe the bags it's in, the bag it is in, has been very carefully chosen for maximum compatibility. I guess I got a bit of a headache. I think the hemp is somewhat taunting me, according to my religious beliefs and my, you know, prayers and wishing for its safety. And you know, I'm complaining about the bag and instead of the hemp giving the headache, or whatever, I got it. Good enough. You, you, you prepare for um, World War III in day fun. When it's time to plant you, you can be what we want you to be. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to put it in another bag here in a moment. First, I need to label it. Uh, even though it's labeled right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and label it. And I was sort of talking about, the last time I was doing this, I was talking about uh, um, not liking having these, these crutches. And um, I've bought a pack of them, and now I'm thinking about buying another pack, just them. Uh, because I've started using them, and they are very, very great. Very, very great. This completely advanced um, my rolling abilities. And... Uh, also the value of what I do because um, these ones without the filter or the crutch sort of turned into a filter you know, are worth what they're worth and you don't find many of them in the industry but these ones with the crutches and the filters with my special packing methods and my um, artisan hand work not licking and using um, fruit juice to activate the gum or glue and, you know five pack of these you know, I dare you, you know, go find, um, you know, like pre-rolls, crutches, in a five-pack, as beautiful as these, tell me what they're worth. And I'll show you one I got, 
Let's see. This is my emergency. I think this will save a life completely. And I think I paid something like $20 to $25 just for this. And that was including shipping. It's that purple haze. Good stuff. And let's see, does it have... Uh, 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 upside down. Uh, uh, uh. You see this? Oh, look at that. It says THC. Well, it's within the legal limit, but it actually has that labeled like it's something individual. Although it looks like it doesn't uh, have the THCA or the Delta 9 marks. And this is my emergency pack. It's very good. It's worth a lot of money to me. You know, that's what, what I'm prepared to um, treat somebody with non medically, like a sort of a treat. And I'm looking to like save a life or um, negotiate with a politician like Vladimir Putin and um, instead of smoking the peace pipe, peacefully smoke some of those. Or he gets that and I get what I've got. And then I want them for like everybody we can gather, like a nice meeting between uh, 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 Rouhani, leader of Iran, and Vladimir Putin, and uh, Xi Jinping, and um, Kim Jong Un, and Fidel. Uh, excuse me, Castro. I forget his first name. Cuba. We can all have some smokes and, and uh, try to get to politics. I believe hemp has um, evolved to cure and age best, and basically be in its best shape and condition in um, this state of packaging I have it in here, all compressed down like this. Which is probably a big gripe fight for people who want a bag fill. It's just, it, uh, it has a lot of special abilities, like it's almost started in a concentration press, like pressing um, pressed hash out, standard hash press mint. Like it's almost the end of the process, so it's sort of learning that. Well, it, it, um, it can recover if it was just sort of sitting around, opening up through processing, and now smashed down, closing itself up. And it will also it might um, express more equally the variation within each part of the flower within each flower as they sort of smash together, and their stuff. Um, mixes and melts and moves around the whole compressed amount. Let's see, I was thinking about getting all the air out. I think it's sort of screaming at me. It still wants to breathe. And here's my tag. So I, I'm, and I really don't want to um, reuse, use ink on this. This was the best paper I have. I think it's uh, for this purpose. I think it's rice paper, rice cardboard paper. Uh, and it's contaminated more than one with my standard processing and the hemp unboxing and processing stage one.